What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy, man? It's the Bronco with the Frog coming at you with another reaction video now. And I did my all time starting 11. A lot of people was on my ass about it because I wasn't really that knowledgeable about a lot of defenders. In my uh, center back positions, I had Virgil Van Dyck and I had Sergio Ramos. Now, a lot of y'all was mad that I had Virgil Van Dyck as my center back spot. And everybody named mom was talking about Paolo Maldini. Now, it's funny because I reacted to that Paolo Maldini dude before, but I don't even remember it, to be honest with you. Like, I reacted to some old guys before that I know, like, that I feel like I watched him play, and that was Lev Yashin, and it was Johan Croave. And the reason why is because I learned about their life story from Raymar Football. I learned about all their accolades and stats and how many Champions League they had and battling doors and appearances and all of that. So Mr. Raymar Football has came out with a Paolo Maldini video. We got the most feared defender in history. Rest up on my knowledge. Maybe I'll move Virgil Van Dyck out of my all-time 11 list and put Mr. Paolo Maldini in here. Let's see where it goes down. Be sure many of you have heard the phrase, defense wins championships. Most definitely. And in football, that's certainly true. In fact, there was an entire era of football where clubs would try to score just a single goal and then focus everything into keeping the lead not by continuing to attack. But oh, the <laughs> hey, 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 that's a fancy way of saying parking the bus. That's a real fancy way of saying you score a goal and then you park the bus the rest of the game. That's frowned upon in today's football. Take the rest of the match entirely to play defense. Mm. And the craziest part was that it worked. But uh, all the legendary defenders that have gone like through the ages that. and paved the way, even hey, hey, the best Wolf the and slap his ass. Today, there was no one else who could really strike fear into the hearts of the opposition hand back. like Paolo Maldini. He's regarded by many fans and footballers alike Look at that as clean the ass greatest tackle, overall bro. defender in football history. The greatest defender so in history, what exactly did he do to be able to gain such widespread respect? Well, today, due to popular demand and the fact that I've never done a video on a defender before, we're finally going to take a look. Paolo Maldini. This is Ray Morris' first video on the Defender, man. I'm here to learn, baby. I'm here to learn. Paolo Maldini comes from very prestigious football roots. His father, Cesar Maldini, is a club legend and okay. former captain of the Milan squad that won the club's very first European Cup in history. Okay, so he, he lived up to expectations. He's a son of a legendary football player in AC Milan and he ended up becoming more legendary than his daddy. This eyes done right there, man. In his days, as one of the best defenders in the world, big shoes so naturally, to feel. much was expected of Paolo to live up to his father's legacy. But nobody would have guessed the kind of player Paolo would Paolo become. Would Paolo up. Maldini would break into Milan's first team at the insanely young age of 16 years old. Damn. Now, some thought it was nepotism that he was even in the club. Just <laughs> because. Imagine they had Twitter back then. They would have been frying his ass. Up. So he only playing because of his dad. His bro. brother had huge respect and influence in Milan. But Cesar Maldini was not kidding when he talked about his son's incredible potential and skill at such an early age. At just 17 years old, he was added into AC Milan starting 11, playing as a fullback. As a teenager, bro. Maldini was forced to immediately play against the best footballers playing Grown in man. the most competitive football league in the world. And this was an AC Milan squad that was serious about trying to build a footballing dynasty. So, so the Serie A was the best in the world in the 80s? Is this the 80s? Slowly making their way to becoming one of the most feared clubs in world football. And to have a 17-year-old starting at a position where mistakes would lead to losses in a league where defense was the most important aspect of the game this was the completely the unheard of, showing you just how legitimate Paolo Maldini really was. His skill set was perfect for the position. Many people think that tackling is the most important skill a defender can have, but in the words of Paolo Maldini, if I have to make a tackle, then I have already made a mistake. Ooh, that's a goddamn quote right there. Kind of like that Sergio Busquets quote. Well, Sergio Busquets didn't make that quote. It was about, um, I forgot what the quote was, goddamn it. But he say, if I got to make a tackle, I already made a mistake. I'm figuring, I figured that he talking about like intercepting the ball or cutting off people's runs or something like that. Defensive intelligence involves the so IQ. much more. Yeah, Maldini definitely. was a master at anticipating the movements of attacking players, yep. as well as having amazing timing to make the right interceptions. He yep. made sure his positioning, anticipation, and interceptions were always the priority no and fly the zone. very first option to take. And this was strange because back then, defending was, in a big part, a very physical rule, especially in the way that Serie A played. 
So the intellectual and tactical part of it wasn't really a priority for the defenders of his era. It was always reacting to the attacker instead of forcing them to react to you <laughs> or being proactive so he was the and first anticipating the attack. His brain. Make no mistake, when Paolo Maldini did have to be physical, he was absolutely great. Oh, that's weird. Let me just... Yeah, much better. You guessed it. This video is sponsored by no other than Nord. Get VPN, your money, Raymar. I was so tripped that I was about to say, what the hell? Servers, Did I just get copyrighted mid-video? <laughs> get your money, though, Raymar. A shot today and make the most of your internet. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. But anyways, make no mistake, when Maldini did have to be physical, he was absolutely great at it, even from a young age. Maldini already had a big frame and was much more physically developed than many players at his age. As a teenager, the man would already lay out and body full grown men. You full can't even hate him because he bro. was never viewed as a dirty player. How his tall aggressive is he? tackles would always get the ball first, only receiving three red cards in his entire 25 year career. He's regarded as the greatest defender of all time. So, you, like I say, you know he be sliding tackling. You know he be tackling, going for all these tackles, and only got three red cards in his entire career. How many red cards Sergio Challenges got? and tackles were full of precision, and the quickness at which he was able to do it was really what threw opposing players off. And maybe the best aspect of his tackling skills was how well he timed his challenges. Maldini knew when to back up and give space, and when to go straight in strong for tackles on the Maldini straight revealed slide secrets tackles. into his technique by looking at the attacker Body Straight language. slide tackles. Whether it be putting their heads down, turning their back, or having made a bad touch, Maldini would use a variety of tactics depending on what the opposition is currently giving him. And you'll see exactly what I mean as you watch more and more highlights of his defense. But Maldini's greatest skill set on the defensive end was by far his ability to mark opponents and force them to react to his movement. Boy, you already know that, that boy about to get jiggy real quick though. Did he kick him in the head? To mark opponents and force them to react mm, to his movement. You already know that Maldini was a beast when he went for the tackles. But his defense was so good that again, it wasn't all that necessary. Sir Alex Ferguson once said, Maldini went through the entire 90 minutes without tackling. That is an art and he an all, is the master bro. of it. In I one one Situations, Maldini knew how to force his opponent to go where he wanted and stuck with his man, giving the opposing players as few options as possible on where and how to attack. He'd use subtle contact with his arms to put attacking players off balance without making it too obvious, it's while also bro. using his body as a barrier and still knowing how to dictate the pace of his opponent. And if bro. Maldini was ever beat, the man was a very agile defender as well. He had decent pace but incredible reaction speed for his position. His lateral movement especially helped him defend well against pacey players that pushed the ball far and relied on off-dribble speed to beat their defenders. Ooh, look at that tackle, boy! Pacey players look that at pushed that the ball tackle. far and relied on off-dribble speed oh, to beat that their is defenders. Nasty. And the most interesting thing is that Maldini rarely let through balls get behind him because of his awareness and early prevention measures on the defensive side that always put him two or three steps ahead of his opponent. Anticipation, timing, positioning, movement, technical ability. Maldini had all the qualities a great defender should have. Probably the best overall defender of all time. And on top of all that defensive greatness, Maldini was also a very skilled player for his position. He was incredibly calm and composed, never having a look of panic on his face handling the ball, no matter how hard the opposition would try to press him. Yeah, his passing, ball operating, control, and huh? vision were also one of the best you could ever expect from that of a defender. In fact, in the words of Ronaldinho himself, Maldini was one of the best defenders in Champions League history. Ronaldinho. But what's so impressive about him is that when he was on the ball, he didn't look like a defender, but an elegant midfielder. That boy uh, looked like a midfielder on the ball, and he's only a goddamn defender. That's a and this is coming from Ronaldo. Did he say Ronaldo or Ronaldinho? He was on the ball, he didn't this look old, like a This OG Ronaldo. Now this Ronaldinho, this is coming from Ronaldinho, one of the most skilled ass beautiful players of all time. Midfield. He said he looked like a midfielder. One of the most skilled footballers of all time is surely a compliment to Maldini's ability. Maldini was also an excellent crosser and a very effective attacking threat, scoring and assisting in around 33 goals during his career. And the man had an immense stamina to keep defending at the highest level while continuously helping his team on the counterattack throughout the match. And in his prime, Maldini was this, easily bro. the most feared defender in the world. Even the best and most skilled players didn't look forward to being defended by Maldini. Zlatan Ibrahimovic has once said, Maldini was the best <laughs> and toughest Defender I ever faced. Damn, how old is Latan? Maybe when did Maldini stop playing? Maybe I'm tripped out. I know it's Latan by 40. 
Ain't he? I ever faced. He had everything. He was a complete defender Damn. who was strong, intelligent, and an excellent man marker. Zlatan used to play for Inter. I thought that boy used to play for AC Me. Zlatan don't play for every team in a book, bro. And if he knows Zlatan, he rarely ever gives anyone praise, especially defenders. Maldini even made it hard to attack for a guy as big as Zlatan was. And Maldini when he was totally on stern AC Milan, Maldini even battled it out with the Diego. late great Diego Maradona. Is that how old Zlatan is? He out here playing with folks who play with Diego Maradona, rest in peace. And he was holding his own. Although very physical, you had to give respect to the young boy who was giving 110% into making it as difficult as possible for one of the hey, greatest footballers Maradona in Maradona fuck around get mad and the get to swinging on your ass. <laughs> I see the Twitter video. Somebody tagged me the video. Maradona be throwing down, bro. That boy be get the boxing. I think it it could have been the game against at uh um Bilbao, Athletic Bilbao that fight, or it could have been another one. I don't know, but there go Maradona get the boxing. Maradona, although he was out of his prime, would have still struggled greatly. But Maldini was up to the challenge and did a very good job doing so. But easily the best player we can use to gauge just how good a prime Paolo Maldini really was at defending is no other than Ronaldo. I'm sure many oh, of you are aware of how insanely good Ronaldo was. He was essentially the perfect striker. And this was a prime Ronaldo before all the injuries and weight gain. At the most fit he's ever been in his Maldini career. Clamp he had the pace, strength, Look amazing at touch, on him like and a -like dribbling skills with the ability to put the ball in the back of the net in any way you could possibly think of. However, Paolo Maldini was Ronaldo's kryptonite. In his words, Paolo Maldini is the best I've ever Ooh, played is. against. Oh, there it is. OG Ronaldo Mel. how many great defenders the man has played against his whole career. And of course, it's an impossible task to really stop Ronaldo in his prime. But nobody on earth did it like Paolo Maldini. Heck, the man even defended legends like Rivaldo and Thierry Henry, Thierry Henry and gave them as difficult of a time as you possibly could. And just by watching it, if you didn't know who these players were, by the way Maldini was defending them, you'd think they were just average footballers. That's how good <laughs> It's a quote like they're like me. I just be turning on random games. I don't really know knowledge. So if you just turn on the game with a random person to point out, I mean, like you can point out if you're a random person like me. When I first watched like, uh, when I turned on the TV to watch the 2018 World Cup, I could point out Luka Modric. I could tell that he was different. When I watched Man City games, even my girl could tell that Kevin De Bruyne was different. You know what I'm saying? If Paulo Maldini is on that field, he gonna make the great players that you can tell is different off eyesight average. It's defense tough. really was. The man was a defensive wall and every opponent knew what they were about to get when they played against him. Because another part of Maldini's career was his level of consistency throughout those years. And throughout the later part of his career, you can still see Paolo Maldini giving his all and to And he was defense, consistent this whole even year. Even against a young Cristiano career. Ronaldo. Although his legs weren't what they used to be, Maldini still had the fire, intensity, and passion to defend. Throughout his nearly a quarter of a century career with AC Milan, Paolo Maldini has done it all and shown the footballing world what it means to be the foundation of your squad. His leadership, ability, and composure has seen him achieve every accolade you could want as a defender for your club. He's won seven Serie A titles, four Italian Super Cups, five European Cups slash Champions League titles, Five Champions Leagues and five UEFA five Super, Super Cups, Cups, along with finishing third place in Ballon d'Or voting. In he he was the ones who finished top three with uh, the AC Milan teammates. I think um, Marco Van Basten finished above him. And then I forgot what the other, what the 1994 other was. and in 2003, <clears throat> one of the few times a defender has ever made it in the last few decades, and certainly one of the only defenders to be nominated. More yeah, when is the and last time a defender Maldini won? Came Ballador. close to winning the World Cup in 1994 and the Euro in 2000. He decided to prematurely retire from international football, which is a shame because he would have definitely been included in Italy's 2006 World Cup winning squad, and yeah, probably tough. would have had an even easier time with him on the pitch. That's but overall, tough. I, know he I don't was think salty. anyone else in football is regarded as the best in their Ooh. position of all time. I know he was salty about the World Cup. Was. Yes, Milan was definitely a dynasty back then, and I've already talked about them in another video. Yep, but I as talented as they were on their attack in midfield, they would not have been nearly as successful without their defense. And overall, Baldini was the biggest part of that defense towards nearly three decades that he's defended the club. And like they always say, it's defense. That wins championships. Yes, that wins but that's championships, gonna do for me today, guys. Let me know where you rank Paolo Maldini in the list of all-time great defenders. Also, if you have any other video recommendations, hey, let, let me, me know, know down in the comments where y'all rank Paolo Maldini all-time greatest defenders. I know a lot of y'all say he's the greatest defender of all time. And the way bro was describing it, in the way bro quote, he was like, if I had to make a tackle, 
I'm already defeated. He said something like that. That's cold blooded. His resume is tough. The people that he have clamped up in his bag: Diego Maradona, the original uh Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Zlatan. His resume is deep, bro. Hey, goddamn monster. I'm definitely, I definitely got to replace Mr. Virgil Van Dyke, Virgil Van Dick, Virgil Van Disney, whatever y'all want to call him, with Mr. Paolo Maldini here, man. <laughs> I'm out.